Hey guys, today we're gonna be comparing the Shearwater 125 versus the Lightning Strike. Does it have a name? Lightning Strike? That's it? Lightning Kayak Strike? I think that's the name. It doesn't have another name. Like, Vibe Shearwater 125, Lightning Strike. That's it. Alright, so you may be asking, what is this dude wearing an Old Town t shirt? Well, Old Town sent me a lot of goodies, so I use them all the time. Even my wife right now is wearing one of their nice comfy uh old town merch stuff so if, if lining or buy one send me some stuff hey i wear them maybe on an old town video or a hobby video i don't know anyways full disclaimer these two kayaks were given to me just to make videos for you guys i didn't pay for them although my hard work paid for them right here you got sort of the same idea these two kayaks were heavily inspired by hobby Mirage dry system. This is the older 20 year old pattern and they made their own drive But they do have a lot of stuff to offer of their own and we're gonna compare these two MSRP wise these two kayaks are about the same. The Lightning Kayak Strike is about 1850 and the Shear Water is 1900 That's MSRP. You may pay less more. I don't know depends where you buy it. So that's MSRP uh, The Shear Water 125 you can get it just a Shear Water no drive for $1,400, the Lightning Strike comes with a drive. So you could probably, you could buy a drive on your own later if you want, but it comes as a package. All right guys, so I wanna start here comparing these two boats. These are 12 and a half feet long boats. Both of them are 12 feet long. Now the Shearwater 125 is an inch wider. It's 35 inches versus 34 inches right here on the Lightning Strike kayak. It's a different hole design. Let me remove this from the sheer water so you can see. You get some sort of like an open deck design, which I love by the way. I love open deck design. And you still have hole access. That is huge. Right here on the Lightning Strike kayak, you get a giant hatch. This is not included. The liner you have to buy separately, but it's an add-on that you could have. And a lot of people love this because they could use it as a cooler or they could put rods inside the boat if they're going offshore or through a lot of vegetation. I have a love and hate relationship with these things because I feel like if I flip, too much water is gonna get in, but if I don't flip, everything is fine. Now, if you get the lightning strike, definitely get the hatch. Boom. If you go towards the middle, you can see that the sheer water has some sort of like utility pod right here where you could store things or you could put a fish finder in there and the Lightning Strike doesn't have that. It just have the deck. Now, what it does have is a hatch right here in the middle, which you can use to store your keys or cell phone or things like that. And you can see that you have two molded in cup holder like right there, that is huge. Gear tracks, the Shearwater 125 gear tracks are longer, but you have gear tracks right here on the Lightning Strike kayak as well. Now, something that I like about the this boat right here, which I like better than the Shearwater, is that it has this sort of like Hobby Factory taker for this. I don't know what the proper name is, but it's built in. You have the original thingies. Over there on the Shearwater, what you have is a pot, which is good because you could change it for something else, but it's also bad because it's never gonna be as good as this connection that you have right here. Now, let's talk about the seats. This seat, I mean, is comfortable but the sheer water seat is miles billions of light years ahead of this seat and why is that well first of all you got like 20,000 adjustments right there positions that you can do here you get high you could go low or you could go low far, a little back that's it you could uh, adjust the strap but that's it you don't have any other adjustment other than that over here in the sheer water <laughs> Dude, you got like 7,000 adjustment. If you want to see an in-depth walkthrough video, this boat showing you all the adjustment and everything, I'm going to link that video to here. But let me just give you a little, a little tease. Boom, you could go there, put it like that, lock it down, or you could just buy the perch and use the perch as a seed. You got tons of oceans right here. I'm not going to go through that because it's going to be like a 20,000 minute video. But anyways, Let's keep going. Off kayaks, you have, let me remove the seat so you can see what I'm talking about. Choo choo choo. Move the seat. 
put it over here, put the seat over here. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this, but another asset that the seat had right here on the shear water is that you have a little tray. You could put your all your fishing gear in there. I have done that. You have an access point right there below. And this seat base, it moves. Again, it's adjustable, right? So you have so many, again, not gonna go over that because I'm gonna spend three days on this. These two kayaks offer you a lot of steering solutions. Right here you have a steering handle that is on the left, but you could add a second one on the right. And you could do the same here with a sheer water 125. You have one on the left, one on the right. I do prefer my handle to be like sort of flat and then turning like this is more natural. The sheer water is more like I'm like this, right? So I, I rather take this steering. But something that this boat doesn't have is you don't have any sort of foot steering at all. Sheer water 125 gives you that sheer water you could put you yeah, like triple steering maybe you could add a four steering one if you add an ipad on the front you got two flush mounted rod holders right here on the side which i think i like the placement better on the lightning kayak stripe because they're sort of spread out and i should get a rod and test it out do i have a rod on here i'll bring that later but here in the sheer water they're sort of like going back and i like what they did that they molded this thing kind of like really low so if you're casting or something you don't hear your own rod but it's still if i'm trolling both of them are looking sort of the general direction so if i want to troll three rods or two rods i mean they may get tangled with each other over here that won't happen right now we are at the tank well there is well the tank wells are sort of about the same size i guess the sheer water tank well looks a little bigger but they're about the same size. Right here on the lining strike, you do get that seat deck padding that is huge. And also you have another access point right here in the hole. On the shear water, you got one access point right here on the back and that's good. Now let's talk about the rudder. A lot of people, I mean, it's a lot of people like this style of rudder on top, easy deployment. All the people like this rudder built in here, which you don't even have to do anything. Well, you do have to release it from the front but like it's it depends what what you like now what i do love about the sheer water rudder is that you could add a bispy right there to the end and it's easy to do and the bispy is a little powerful thing i mean we had an ipilo unit on this boat it only drove it like a three plus miles an hour and the bispy is able to probably get up to five miles an hour that little thing so that is huge and now if you get the bisp with this boat and everything you're looking at three thousand dollars right here you don't i mean you could add that a motor like i did i put a the bisp mirage adapter right there in the front and it works like magic i'm gonna link that video too i also did a, like a frankenstein setup and i put a torquito on the rear which you could do too but it's not as cool as this now based on my count the sheer water is pretty much blowing out the lightning strike out of the water but let's just throw in the ten thousand dollar question will you rather have a u.s made kayak or a kayak in china that is a huge thing for a lot of you guys i personally i would love for buy to make the kayak in the u.s but i do have a stupid iphone and the iphone is made in china so you know it is what it is so a lot of stuff is made overseas i know why they don't Maybe they don't want to make it here in the U.S., but I think they should. They should make the Vive kayaks here in the U.S. It will probably stop a lot of Chinese companies from copying their design. So maybe that's something they should work on. So U.S. made, China made, but U.S. companies, both of them. So look, if you get all worked out because the Vive is made in China and you have an iPhone in your pocket, you got problems, dude. Sorry, but it's true. Now, the drive, I could be wrong, but I think this drive is assembled here in the U.S. as well parts don't know where they come from but it's a sample here anyways it depends on you it depends on what you like and what you're looking for maybe you don't like the open deck style maybe you like more having an open hatch in the front with a giant liner if you want to make it a cooler and stuff like that maybe you care more about being in, made in the u.s than somewhere else maybe you just want a simple kayak you don't want to worry about motors and 10,000 different options that you have on, on the sheer water maybe you just want a kayak that you don't even have to think about it just grab it and go this may be for you let's talk about stability between these two boats you could clearly see how tall 
the lightning kind of strikes stand compared to the sheer water 125 and that makes a huge difference because it will be harder to flip this boat because this boat is stable you can walk on it it's a walkable dead all that stuff watch my full does a flip video but once the water gets around here your history and look how tall these walls are so it's extremely not extremely but it's more difficult to flip this kayak than this one you may feel tip here on this boat though but from that going to like actually flipping over this will be harder to flip over and I'm gonna flip them so you can see the difference in the hole and all that stuff both these boats have cup holders paddle keepers front handle this one is molded in and this one right here is a handle that I removed because I put a trolling motor in there but it goes right here actually more like here like right here it's a nice handle very nice comfy handle I like those handles better than the molded in for carrying but if I'm I want to tie down the boat on my truck or something like that this is better definitely better to do that so I want to give you a glimpse of the bottom hole between these two boats uh, they sort of have the same idea you see those channels side by side you got a, like a giant keel type of thing for well, the keel is here but like a line in the middle this one has way more volume and these channels are deeper and this is more flat and the reason for that is because they wanted to make this boat a better paddling boat but let me tell you something about the lightning strike it paddles really nice i often rather just paddle it than use the old hobie style drive so this thing paddles very well this one too maybe we should do a head to head what do you guys think head to head between these two boats maybe we should do that anyways the uh, Shearwater 125 has a keel protection right here but it's like it doesn't have it because the keel is almost is higher than the keel protection thingy so whatever but at least it has something this one right here the lightning strike doesn't have it so these two boats they weigh about the same actually let me look at my spec here each boat just the whole weight is 82 pounds now the sheer water with everything on it including that seat and the extra extra stuff is 105 pounds while the fully rigged lightning kayak strike is 94 pounds so but the hole itself with nothing on it 82 pounds comment below tell me what boat is better for you and why and also let me know what video you want me to do next let's go oh by the way i'm gonna try to link all the products that we discussed here today including the beast being everything else down in the description and don't forget to watch more videos like all the videos that you haven't seen from the channel go watch them like right now i'll wait for you i'll wait for you don't worry just go watch them.